Hello. Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for coming to the Community Leadership Summit X, Linux Conf AU edition. Uh, I was going to start with a little introduction about what the Community Leadership Summit is and where it came from. Um, but I have someone in the room who probably knows the history a little better than I. And I haven't asked him to do this, but I wondered if he might be willing to at least do the bit about what the X relates to and give us some context. So please make welcome John O'Bacon. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the, the history of this is that about, uh, good grief, seven, eight years ago, something like that, um, there wasn't a lot of guidance in the world for how you build strong communities. Um, and there was lots and lots of people who were getting involved in open source projects and companies were hiring them to, you know, to build communities. And I felt really bad for a lot of the people who I knew in the industry because they really didn't have a lot of, there wasn't a peer group network. There wasn't guidance that, that they could use to help influence the work they were doing. Everyone was kind of out on their own. Um, I wrote a book, which was just kind of some ideas that I had, but I didn't want to profess that that was the only way of doing things. Um, so the goal of the Community Leadership Summit was to have a forum in which people could come together and share ideas and share best practice. So it wasn't just standing up and giving presentations, it was actually having conversations with people. Because I don't know about everyone here, but being in conversations and having discussions is really invigorating, it's really fun. Whereas sitting down and just consuming information in a presentation, you know, it's, it's interesting, but it's not necessarily as invigorating. Um, so we started the CLS in, um, the first one was in San Jose, when OSCON in America um, went there for one year and thank God went back to uh, Portland because San Jose is not a good place for OSCON. Um, and every year, CLS just grew and grew and grew and we have usually 250, 300 people show up. And every year it's really insightful. There's always, I always come away personally with four or five really like key new ways of thinking that, that's really insightful, that helps to take a completely different perspective on, on, on how I do my work and how other people do theirs. But the major problem with it was that <clears throat> CLS is in, in America. So people were saying, you know, I'd like to organize local events, and we didn't really have any structure around that. So the idea was to take something, you know, is anyone here familiar with TEDx? Yeah? So TEDx is kind of an interesting model for, for regional TED events, but it's really bureaucratic. You have to you get this big license, and there's all these requirements around how it works. Um, but then on the other side of things, you've got things like local Linux user groups, which are usually super free for me. You just kind of meet in a pub or a restaurant somewhere or a coffee shop. And I thought CLS, CLSX should be kind of somewhere in between. So, so you have some guidance, you have a structure that makes the events feel consistent, but then it's really free form. So the LCA event can, can find its own feet, find its own tone while being part of a wider network. Um, so this is the second year. And this was one of the very first CLSX events, which is awesome. And we're still figuring it all out. We only had like the CLSX website, for example, go online about two and a half months ago. So this is a very new movement. And we've had events in Tokyo, in Australia, in various places in the US, in, in London, in um, Madrid. So it's starting to like kick off a little movement. Um, but what's important here in the spirit of community is that everything is up to be changed and everyone is up, everything is up to be influenced. So if you have any ideas about how the format can be better, um, either within this event or within the wider global sphere of things, we'd love to hear it. And with that in mind, thank you for coming along and thank you for putting it together. Thanks so much, Jono. I've, um, l last year, I, as Jono just said, we ran the first one of these, CLSX LCA, and that's the hash tag. I'll put a hash up there in a minute. But if you're going to be on the Twitters, then please um, hash CLSXLCA. Thank you. Oh, okay, fine. Um, uh, but last year um, was the first one and I had free reign to do whatever I liked, and I did. Now I feel a little bit more pressure because Jono's here and he'll probably grade me at the end of the day. <laughs> So um, we're going to follow the same kind of pattern that we did last year. Hands up if you were here last year. A few of you, fantastic. Thank you and welcome back. And to all of you who are new this year, a very huge and warm welcome to you and thank you for coming. I'm going to stop talking soon because this is also, this is about all of you, me, us, having a conversation today and we're going to start with some introductions. So broadly, 
opens, we've done that. So we're going to go into some introductions. But they're going to set the agenda for the day. And we're going to do that real kind of real low tech. I'm just going to write on the board and you're going to call stuff out. And we're going to put ticks next to things that other people also want to talk about. Okay, so very, very relaxed. Then we're going to go into a series of lightning talks. So what I want to do there is encourage those of you who really have an issue that you want to explore in depth later in the day or just explain more about the topic that you've raised or just have a story that you want to tell. We're going to just have a quick series of lightning talks. Depending on how many of you want to do that, we'll divide the remaining time that's, you know, that algorithm thing. You know what I mean. So that's sort of what we're going to do up to lunch. Then after lunch, I've sort of roughed it. We'll do two group discussions. We're actually really lucky. We've got this room. The room across the hall is also empty today, so we can break out in there. And even the little hallway space. So if we want to break out into up to three separate breakout groups, we have the space to do so. The bigger question is, do we want to have a long discussion between lunch and afternoon tea, one long discussion, or do we want to break that into two shorter discussions? So that's something we need to determine based on what comes up. And then another um, group discussion opportunity after afternoon tea and then a report back. But this is an unconference and this is just a suggestion. So if anyone wants to mix this up at this point, that's completely cool. But it always seems useful to start with a broad outline to work from. Any, any kind of tweaks so far? Pull requests? See how we go? All right then, what we're going to do is pass the microphone around for some introductions and I'm going to run and there'll also just be some passing and I'm sure I'll get very out of breath very quickly but it'll be good for me. So I didn't say before, I'm Donna Benjamin. I wear a lot of hats. Um, I'm not going to go through them all. My hat today is running CLS XLCA and that's all you need to know. Um, I'm Kara. Uh, I'm from Sydney. I guess I'm involved in a lot of Python and, and Go community stuff. I don't have much else to say. Uh, hi, I'm Chris. I'm an erstwhile council member of Linux Australia and organiser of PyCon Australia. And I'm running this whole show next year. Good on you, Chris. Thank you. I'm Joel. Um, I'm involved with Humbug in Brisbane and I'm a volunteer here, as you probably can see. Yay for our volunteers. I'm Dave. I'm also a volunteer and so I'm, I'm a Python developer and just getting started. Welcome. Thanks to our volunteers in the room. We've got one more of those up the back. We'll get around to him. Come down here. Hi, my name's Clinton. Uh, I run user groups in Brisbane. I uh, run and help organise conferences in Brisbane as well. Hello, I'm Ben Stenfels. Uh, I organise Free Software Melbourne in Melbourne, obviously. Hi, I'm Molly. I'm the community coordinator for uh, Open edX, which is an ed tech project. Uh, I like free software, bicycles and vegan food. So if you want to talk about any of those, I'm super into it. I'm uh, Chris Cormack. I work on uh, the Koha project. i um, been doing that for far too long and i kind of taken over the community management for that. Thanks, Chris. Hi, uh, I'm Harrison, a uh, Filipino operations engineer based in Singapore. I'm um, Fedora ambassador. Uh, yeah. I'm Stuart. I work for a small company known as IBM. We have probably an order of magnitude more people than live in Geelong working for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of insane. I work on open power firmware, uh, so we have open source firmware, uh, and so we're going through large organisational change involving moving large parts of the company from a more proprietary model to an open model uh, on large scale hardware as we attempt to also change the world and half the company, so that's fun. Yeah, just a small job. <laughs> Thanks, Stuart. Know who I am. I'm Ricky Ensley, um, first time attendee, long time fan. 
So <laughs> I work on opensource.com. I'm a community manager and an editor. And a couple of our moderators are Koha contributors, so let's talk later. Um, and uh, I brought stickers and left them in my room. So find me later this week, and I'll give out stickers. Thank you. Thanks, Ricky. Hi, I'm Andrew Dinellen. Uh, I work with Stuart, funnily enough, at IBM as a kernel hacker in Canberra. Uh, and in my spare time, I'm also occasionally organizing conferences and doing stuff related to the uh, university student groups I used to be involved with. The spare time thing. Tell me more. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Daniel. I, I sit on the XORG Foundation board, which is a fairly smallish community doing graphics. And I'm also a kernel maintainer who's somewhat unhappy with how that community runs at all, which I'd like to learn how to fix that. Cool, thanks. Can I have the bit of paper that you've got there as well? While I'm got past, thank you. Hi, I'm Monica. I'm a GIS person in Canberra, and I'm just interested in learning a little more about community leadership. Thank you. Uh, I'm Jack, uh, also tweeted and heckled by developer Jack. I'm PHP background in Sydney, but a polyglot user and abuser of technology for um, open source efforts. Um, user groups, conferences, uh, also an evangelist in my work time, slash spare time, slash always. I'm Mike. I'm I'm Mike, I'm just a general sysadmin. I was just sitting here because there wasn't much else interesting looking going on. <laughs> oh, cool. My name's Ruth Seeley. I work at Red Hat. I manage the community leadership team in our open source and standards group, which is the part of Red Hat that works with all our community upstream projects. Uh, I'm Nick. I'm a tech enthusiast at best. Uh, I am a part-time podcaster and I have done some Linux evangelizing for a um, uh, computer bank um, in Melbourne, if you know them, uh, helping disadvantaged. I'm Adam, I'm from Canberra, I'm involved in the hackerspace there and a bunch of other communities and I really enjoyed this last year so I've come back to continue contributing. Awesome, thanks Adam. Thank, thank you everyone for your quick introductions. Um, this means that we can go straight into really the the main purpose for today, and that is setting the agenda. So um, I am going to just waffle a little bit now because I think setting the agenda is important and I want this to really be a little bit of a discussion. Um, it may even be worth huddling a little bit, like if you can, like there's a nat some natural groupings and maybe just to have a quick chat amongst yourselves um, as part of this of some of the issues that you think are important just to kind of get the juices kind of flowing. Um, Last year, what I did was I went to the community leadership forum site that, that Jono had set up and looked at a bunch of the topics there and I had kind of preceded uh, the, the day with those, saying, look, these are some of the topics that are discussed at CLS. Um, last year, um, after we had a kind of free-form discussion like we're about to have now and we settled on uh, some key topics, um, three of which were recorded with notes and I've copied them onto the wiki. One... Uh, conversation may or may not have happened. There are no notes and no one owned up to having been at it. So I don't know if it happened. But the topics were burnout. Um, I think, Clinton, I think you participated in that conversation. Maybe, maybe. I won't, I won't put you on the spot. There was one on burnout. There's one on recognition. How do we recognise our contributors? And there was one on... Um, let me just... Look at my cheat sheet over here. Uh, maybe not. Topics for discussion. What did we do? I can't even remember what the other one was. Anyway, they were good. Uh, and notes were had. had. And which, what comes to notes is I've passed these around. If you haven't seen it, you'll get a chance to. Um, it's basically just a guideline, I guess, for how we want to run the group discussions. And that is that we have four roles. Um, the facilitator, uh, ideally the person who proposed the idea or really wants to drive that discussion. A note taker, someone who can record the conversation, just take notes so that there is a, you know, something to refer back to in future and people who couldn't be here have something to refer back to. And then a couple of others, which a timekeeper, which is 
usually pretty self-evident, but if we have a set amount of time that we keep to it so that we can cover all of the things that we've agreed to cover now. And then the final one, which is a monitor. And this one's a bit trickier. This is someone who just keeps an eye on the vibe of the conversation, supports the facilitator so that they can also participate um, occasionally, supports the note taker, like perhaps if the note taker wants to, you know, actually participate, might take over taking some notes, but also make sure that the conversation isn't being dominated by the usual suspects. That it's not just a couple of people having an argument while everybody else sits around, but that everybody who wants to have a say can have a say. And that can be a bit tricky. So I think it's an important role, but a very kind of subtle one. So that's the four roles, and it's not mandatory, but I'd really like it if we could perhaps keep that in mind as we have our group discussions this afternoon. So with that said, I'm gonna find my trusty whiteboard marker and start writing things down. Do you want to have a moment to have a bit of a, a chat with the person sitting next to you? For those of you who are sitting alone, that might be tricky. Yeah, just get into it? All right, let's just get into it. If we need to pause for reflection, we can. So, what are the burning topics for 2016 that we want to cover this afternoon? Diversity, lack thereof. LTO, lack thereof. Codes of conduct, my favourite. Woo! Shorter. Long-lasting organisational change. Long-lasting org change. There's an R in there. Contrib community needs. Yep, meeting thereof. <laughs> Good one. Uh, inclusivity and welcoming. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a transition from practical to philosophical. Well, that's nice and pithy. Let's go with that. Transition to believer. Okay, cool. Jono. How we articulate reputation. Thanks, Jono. Oh, Clinton didn't get re-elected yesterday. It's a good one, though. How do we actually involve people beyond our formal governance structures? S that kind of works, doesn't it? <laughs> That's way too long. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There was something up the... Oh, Ben? Attracting new participants. Which might be part of diversity as well. Okay.
please. I'm just going to use my facilitator privilege and do that. Because I, I want to I wanna talk to you about that already. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. Ah, oh, yes. Good old MVC. <laughs> and I'm going to put um, another one in there, which is um, P, P something something DC, which is um, non-defensive communication. Powerful non-defensive communi communication. Yes, good one. Large, large organisation challenges. Any, any others up the back? I've been a bit... Yeah? No? You thought that was a... Maybe, okay. No, no, no. Adam? Nothing? No. Clinton? <laughs> to, to quote... Jeff War, large corporate organisations strip mining the community. Something like that. No, sorry. <laughs> corporate versus upstream leadership. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff here. Is there anything else we want to add before we start to kind of refine down to some key um, key conversations? One last opportunity to expand before we start to contract. Nope. Okay. So let's have a quick look at what we've got here. Diversity, or lack thereof, codes of conduct, long-lasting organisational change in and large organisation challenges. There's a kind of sort of matching pair there. Um, meeting uh, the needs of users and contributors, or user communities and contributor communities. Um, inclusivity and welcoming. Fostering open, inside closed communities. The transition to Believer from uh, using open source uh, for practical reasons to using it for philosophical reasons. Um, how to articulate reputation. Uh, Corporate versus upstream leadership. How to involve people outside of the formal governance who still want to do things but aren't aren't in, you know, affirmed, you know, positions of um, positional authority. Attracting new participants, indigenous, uh, which does tie into diversity, um, and looking at nonviolent communication and powerful non-defensive communication. So, there's a lot of stuff there. Are there any groupings that we might want to pull that into? And also, how are we going for time, room monitors? Good, okay. Of course. <laughs> Stuart's saying that we should be able to solve all of these problems because it's only 11 o'clock now and we'll be finished by, you know, five and we'll be done. Very good. I like that optimism. Can do attitude. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that to you, Stuart. So maybe we should just do a show of hands for it, like how many other people want to pick up on some of these. Yeah, just sort of get a broad sort of popular sense. Diversity? Only one, two, three, four. I need bigger hands. That's the majority of the room. Okay, so we'll put a big star next to that one. Maybe I'll do swap. Hang on. Do I want to what? Oh, yeah. That's better. All right. So diversity was almost a majority there. Codes of conduct. Long-lasting organisational change. 
Five. Uh, meeting the needs of user and user communities and contributor communities. Large organisational challenges. I think that's, is that four or five? Inclusivity and welcoming. Lots. I feel good. Na, 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 na. All right. Um, fostering open enclosed communities. Two and a half. Who's familiar with um, what is Denise calling it? Inner inner source, inner sourcing. So what have we got? Do those hands again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. Transition to Believer, Justin, no. What have we got there, Molly? Six, Six. I'm beginning to blur. How to articulate reputation? <laughs> Proper. Yeah, two hands. <laughs> You're, I, I, give, I, I think you can have two, uh, two votes. <laughs> Seven. Is that including Jono's two votes? <laughs> um, corporate versus upstream leadership. How to involve people outside formal governance and positions of authority? Three. Indigenous. One hundred. <laughs> um, NVC and PNDC. Yeah, it's... Can we just get a stronger hands up for that? Again, there's quite a few. Again, in the sort of lots-ish department. Nine, seven, somewhere, something. I'll do eight. <laughs> right, so uh, this is an eight. This is an eight. Six, five, four, four. So I think we've got, yeah? Nice. Yeah, there are definitely some of those issues in there. Sorry, put put the reputation question in in here as well. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure that one's right as right for me. Yeah, that will be interesting. Though. I'm also like we often 
get to consensus with these things, but I also like to note the, the outlying ideas. So it'll be interesting to hear how that relates for you. Okay, we don't want to lose that. So thank you. All right, so I think we've got some three broad topics. We've got three um, uh, time slots. We've also got three spaces. Do we want to break this into... Um, do we want to break this up into more? Or what my gut is telling me to do is let's get a lightning talk, our lightning talks going and explore some of these topics for those who perhaps propose them and then we'll be in a better place to decide what we actually want to cover for the rest of the day. Yeah? Okay. I need to just have a quick, like, zen break moment. I'm going to encourage all of you to stand up and keep your energy high. Then we're going to sit down and hear some people and do lightning talks. So... What I'm going to do over on this whiteboard is um, get names. Names. Who wants to um, do a lightning talk? I've forgotten. Cara, I think. C A R A. Jono. That's it? They're going to be long lightning talks. <laughs> Early lunch. <laughs> You've got to sell Indigenous, right? <laughs> it can be just us. We can just talk <laughs> to the afternoon if, that, if it doesn't get there. <laughs> Any others? Molly, you want to do a lightning talk, don't you? No. No, Dan. I'm not Ricky. I mean, anything. <laughs> Let's all be nice. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, Ricky. Sorry, Stu. You went here. So, yeah, anything you like. It doesn't have to be on the topics that we've, we've nailed. If you want to, you know, espouse forth on something, then please feel free. I think there's, there's certainly a lot to cover in this space, so, you know, anyone? Do you want to talk about the relationship that you see there between reputation and those things? No, it's, I mean, that's the thing, it's like it may not, may not necessarily gel, but if we hear more about it, then it might. Leadership in general. Okay. What is community? What is leadership? Huge, huge questions. Absolutely. Hey, that's like most of my commits ever, Stuart. Thank you. Yes. Clinton. What's your, so what was your name? Do you want to do a talk or no? No? No, it's just a, a, short, a short talk, but no, it's all right. So, Clinton, you're up. Chris. I think so. No, lightning talks, definitely no more than five minutes. I'm thinking more like three. What? 
What? You're going you're gonna to tell me how long we've got? Yeah. Oh, a, a lightning talk maybe from Jack. Jack, question mark. Cool. Any others? This is a good number now. I was a bit sad at four, but I'm happy with this. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not going to go and say, you know, get them to put topics up now because we're just going to hear from all of them and let them state their topics. So I think that's really good. What is the time now? 20 past 11 and we go until 20 past, no, till 12? Till 20 past 12. So we've got a good hour here, which is great. So let's just take, you know, a few minutes. I'm going to drink some water, chill a little bit, get back in the zen flow of things and then we'll just get up and we'll do them just in order. In there, you're, you're happy to go up first because you're first name? Oh, no, that's that Chris. Other Chris. Actually, I need to do this. It's Chris N and Chris M. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Chris C. Oh. Sorry. Why did I think Mick caught me? Take a little moment. Go out. Go start.